Hey there, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about content batching. So I'm Cassandra Billingsley, as you know, and part of the social seller hacks. Content batching, does that just make you cringe like when you hear it? Because it does me like I used to hate content batching. It meant that on every Sunday, I would sit down for three to four hours and try to figure out what I was going to post that whole entire week. Okay, <laughs> it was exhausting. And 99.9% .9 of the time, I didn't do it. So here's my just tip trick for content batching um, to kind of take out that overwhelm. And that way you don't get burnt out and you can still like show up and stay consistent. So when you do content batching, right, most of our posts focuses around the three E's, educational, entertainment, and engaging. Okay, so educational, we're posting, um, and I'm not just saying content batch and post like all the spammy stuff of your products, all of that, but educational is more of the problem your product solves. How do you help somebody? How do you, um, what problem do you solve? Why do you take your products? Why do you use your products? Okay, so you lead with value. So that one, hitting the educational should be fairly simple for you um, to be able to content batch a couple of posts for the week or stories um, or short form videos, anything like that around educational because all you're doing is talking about the benefits of the product. Not the products itself, but the benefits of it, okay? So entertainment. That could be almost anything. I encourage you to find um, three people like in your network, in your niche that you follow and kind of see what they're posting, what they're doing. What is their posting strategy kind of look like? Um, because you can gain inspiration from that. You can see if um, the, they're entertaining, how they entertain and with engaging, like what questions are they asking for people to engage with, okay? So I encourage you to follow people. Um, I always, because we're on social media all day long, right? I mean, we are, we're, we're scrolling, we're going through Rails, we're going through TikTok, we're going through the newsfeed. What I do when I come across something that I like, I screenshot it on my cell phone, okay? So like we talked about with time management, um, it doesn't matter where you're at. Whenever you're scrolling, something catches your eye, screenshot it. Decide what caught your eye. Was it an image? Was it what they were saying? Did it speak to you? Because now you have some content ideas, right? What if you're reading a book? You know, um, most people read like the personal development, self-help books, those kind of things. If you're reading a book and a passage sticks out to you or a sentence, use that for your content too. I'm constantly going, oh, I like that. And then using it in my content. I don't use it word for word. We're not talking about um, plagiarism, right? Because these are copyrighted. This is somebody else's content. Make it your own. Show up and be authentic. Be yourself. Add your own words into it. Add your own tone. Add your own um, funniness to it, right? So those are the three main forms. I no longer take four or five hours to... Um, to build out my content for content batching. I'm actually working on my content batching all week long now, but it doesn't really seem like that, right? Because I'm not sitting down and going, okay, what now? I just, as I scroll social media, I screenshot something and I'm like, oh, I like that. So then the next day when I go to post, I'm like, I wanna build off of that. Like, what does that mean to me? And is it educational? Is it entertaining? Is it gonna you know, make somebody laugh? Is it like motivational, that kind of stuff? And engaging, you know, is it asking a question? Is it asking like, hey, it's Monday morning, what, are your, what is your strategy for today? Or um, maybe it can be like Monday motivational tip kind of thing, Tuesday's tricks or tips. So just kind of block out those, those things that you wanna talk about in those three main categories and um, put together. I use the notes on my phone all the time because like I said, we're on our phones all the time. Use the notes that are on there and go through the notes and um, just add little tidbits. Uh, I've actually started learning like the things that are going on around me, how to incorporate that. If you're working a corporate job and you're like, oh, back to Monday 
grind, you know, and then you can do a picture of like off an office or something and be like stuck in my little cubicle. Um, do things like that. People want to get to know you and just make sure you're offering value um, all the way around. So remember those three E's and remember to look for content ideas and inspiration throughout the week as you're scrolling social media. Pay attention to what's caught your eye because it will be super easy for you once you start getting into the habit of just paying attention more to social media and what people are engaging on. Maybe you came across the post and they had like 120 comments and you're like, whoa, what was it about that post that made somebody comment? Start looking at those things for your own content. So when you start to content batch and you start putting together things, you're not spending four or five hours sitting in front with brain fog, you know, because you're like, I don't know what to post. I don't know what to create. I don't know what day of the week it is. You know, <laughs> believe me, I know I'm not alone. Raise your hand if I'm not alone. But anyways, I, um, I encourage you just to stop what you're doing, look at what you're doing or what's catching your eye and um, create your own content around that. So as always, um, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you soon.